Westfield school employees and law enforcement professionals received training today on how to respond to an active shooter. 22 News reporter Taylor Knight was working for you today to find out what is being done to keep people safe. These incidences are, are becoming more frequent. The National Fire Protection Agency recently released new standards for preparing for and responding to school shootings. It provides uh, guidelines in terms of um, how we even prepare our buildings, not just our people, but also our buildings, and how we train and, and how we work together in times of crisis. This is a cause close to Michelle Gay's heart. She lost her daughter, Josephine Grace, in the Sandy Hook school shooting in 2012. On Friday, members of local school districts, as well as federal, state, and local public safety departments learned how to implement these standards to keep kids safe. An active shooter event is a whole community event. School employees and emergency responders attended the event in teams. This is so they can learn to work together before an emergency happens. I'm here with my SRO, my school resource officer, and we just felt that it was rather important that we all come together and we all hear the same thing and we can develop a plan. Governor Charlie Baker recently proposed a $72 million plan to enhance school safety and includes $40 million for districts to hire additional mental health professionals and $4 million for school resource officer training. In Westfield, Taylor Knight, 22 News.